fellow class, the next part of your wine making is wine analysis. So this is the wine we made. Uh, I came in last week and changed to another bottle. Then this is the next step. We will use a bricks refractometer to measure the uh, degree bricks. So it's like a I don't know, a binocular, you put sample at the front of it and you put your eye at the back and see how much degree bricks is. I don't know if you can see it. All right. Then next is the hygrometer. Uh, it's a cylinder uh, that has some beads at the base and we have uh we have alcohol percentage and specific gravity lines at the top so it's basically like a cylinder it's a hygrometer then the next part we are going to be measuring water activity so we have a dew point water activity meter that will show you how to do the next step and everybody must be familiar with this this is a ph meter we're also going to be measuring the pH of our alcohol. All right, class, the first thing we're going to do is take the degree bricks meter and measure the total degree bricks in our wine. So just take a little bit of wine and put it in the front of the degree bricks meter. All right, and the front of the degree bricks meter has a slanted slope and it has a glass uh, below that. So. Then we close the degree bricks meter and then we watch it like this. After watching it, I see around 5.1 degree. So you put the sample at the front and it's a refractor meter, so there's light refraction, and you'll see uh, the degree bricks based on total soluble solids that's present in the wine. All right, second part. The second part of the wine analysis is measuring the specific gravity. So we already did the initial specific gravity and that would uh, that gave us uh, initial potential alcohol percent of uh, around 13.2%. So the initial specific gravity was 1.1. Now we will do the final specific gravity. So I fill up the cylinder uh, here with wine. then. I will take this hygrometer and let the hygrometer sink in the wine. And this will give us the final specific value. So it looks like our final specific value is around 1. Okay. So the initial one we measured before uh, when we first uh, started making the wine was the specific gravity was 1.1. Now, the final specific gravity is one. And the specific gravity corresponds to alcohol percent in the hygrometer. So one is 0%. Then before we had 1.1, it was around how much? 15, so it's like 10, 11, 12, 13. 13%, something like that. So that's 13.2. So the initial alcohol, it's not the alcohol that's present in the wine, but it's potential alcohol that can that we can gain. So initial was 13.2, and the final one was 0%. All right. Uh, we, we're going to have to do the final calculation of potential alcohol in our wine, by, that's going to be percentage of alcohol in wine equals initial potential alcohol minus final potential alcohol. So that we'll post that on our uh, canvas again. All right. Okay. Uh, guys, this is the third uh, analysis we're going to do today. It's measuring the water activity of our wine. So this is a half tablespoon uh a tablespoon so it's around 7.5 ml what we do is take half tablespoon of wine 
and put it in this thing. It's it's like a small container. Then we will put this in our water activity meter. Okay. All right. So then we'll close it and turn it on. It takes around five minutes to give us the results. So we will uh, wait for five minutes. Then we will show you guys the results. Okay, guys. After five minutes, we have this water activity reading. So it's 0 0.9948 water activity at 24.67 degree Celsius. All right. All right. The last thing we're going to do uh, today for our wine analysis part is take the pH of wine. This is the pH meter we have and this is the pH sensor or bulb so we will dip it in our wine and wait a few minutes or a few seconds to see how much our pH is. So see it's changing right now and we'll wait till the pH is stable. So it's changing, changing, changing. And we will wait till our pH is, is stable. So it's going down. It's still going down. And we'll have to wait till the pH is stable. All right. It was stable for a bit. Okay, that's fine. So this is the pH probe in our cylinder with wine in it. And we're going to see if our pH is trying to stabilize. So it's still t it's going up and down, up and down in 3.58, 3.57, 3.56. So it's around 3.5 something. It's trying to stabilize around that pH. Let's wait a few seconds and see if it stabilizes or not. Okay, so our pH is stable at 3. Point it was stable again. It <laughs> went... It changed. Okay, let, let's wait. Okay, it's stable at 3.53 pH. Alright class, so this is the final results I'm gonna show you. So you guys, so the degree bricks refractometer results was 5.1. Then we did the hygrometer analysis to find the specific gravity and alcohol content of our wine. So, the hygrometer readings were initial specific gravity that we did, uh, it's not shown in today's video, but we did it when we first made the wine. So the initial specific gravity is 1.1, the final specific gravity is one, and the initial potential alcohol percent is 3.2, final potential alcohol is uh, zero percent. Uh, sorry, the initial potential alcohol is 13.2. All right, so this is the formula you're gonna use to calculate the real percentage in wine. It's not accurate, but it's approximately the percentage that we have in our wine. Okay, it's gonna be initial potential alcohol minus final potential alcohol. So we have initial would be 13.2 uh, minus final 0.0. .0 so uh, the percentage of our wine is approximately 13.2 percent. All right. The next thing we did was use the dew point water activity meter, and the readings were 0 0.9948 water activity at 24.67 degrees Celsius. The last one we did today was use our pH meter and the pH meter reading was 3.53 percentages. All right, 